Right, this is my um, charging setup that I've got here. Yeah. I have a, uh, a 30 amp uh, supply down there, 30 amp 12 volt supply. That's an Alinco DM330MW. And uh, I've got two leads out the back of that on this fireproof mat here on top of the table. And we have um, a couple of AccuCells there. I have a booster pack here which is just temporarily in a little plastic tub till I get to uh, put it in a plastic case and I've made up a little quick little lead for that it's great to have just an extra little booster pack when I'm going out on, on longer rides and then we've got the, um, the PowerPal 4 there the Tronics 4 channel charger which is um, charging my main pack now which is I've had running for a year which is perfectly great and battery doctor and I just use these uh, um, BM6 alarms on this little pack here, um, but I've got I've got it all, all set up here on this fireproof uh, fireproof um, cover, and then just above here I've got a smoke alarm, uh, which is really really quite loud. Let's just try that. That's uh, pretty loud. I can hear that in the house. It's um, about 105 decibels, so uh, you're going to hear that. And um, I just keep an eye on things. Um, nice thing with these chargers is they tell you all the cells, all the voltages in either cell, and um, uh, you can keep a good eye on the packs. And uh, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too concerned with them up against the brick wall there. And uh, if there's any issues, I'm sure the alarm will go off and uh, we'll be able to sort things out. But uh, I've never had any problems. The worst I've had is a pack, a pack that just uh, puffed slightly. And that was uh, a generation one uh, point one type lipo pack anyway. So that's the way I charge things. Um, and uh, if because uh, people wanted to just ask me what set, kind of setup I had, and that's the setup there. And I can charge all these uh, together. It's uh, there's enough capacity in the supply to uh, charge it all the booster as well at the same time. So there we go.